They have strong fundamentals, and we know how good their team fighting is. They certainly showed it tonight. Yeah. Just a little bit about their laning phase and their decision making in those skirmishes. And there is that Champions Korea trophy. And SK Telecom is about to hoist it after a 3 0 victory over the GE Tigers. Pretty amazing stuff here tonight. What a season. What a great way to start season five as well. We're in for a great year of League of Legends, aren't we, Monty? It is indeed. So we're going to hand it off for some interviews and the awards ceremony. Yep. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. That's right. Show will be doing the translating. But for Monty and I here in Seoul, South Korea, thank you again so much for watching, guys. We really appreciate it. We'll see you in Florida next week. Enjoy the awards ceremony. All right, thank you, Joa and Monte Cristo, for some excellent casting of a beautiful grand finals here in Seoul, South Korea, wrapping up champion spring 2015. And there are your champions themselves, SK Telecom T1, really making League of Legends history once again, a third win for the organization here in Korea, here in the Premier League of League of Legends. League of Legends champions, Korea. There we go, Marin lifting up the trophy, of course. For some of these members, their first time. For some, their third. But as an organization, the third time this trophy finds its home in the SK Telecom T1 team house. What a record. There's Faker. Didn't even have to play today. And Bengi. Baker looks like he really wanted to play, but Bengi looks very satisfied that he didn't need to play and their team got the win. I mean, last time Bengi was saying, you know, I think I used up all my luck today. And of course, also, he, there was a lot of pressure on him to bring the team into the finals, but today it was Marin, Tom, Easy, Hoon, Bang, and Wolf making it happen for SKT. A brilliant, brilliant finals. And there we go, Easy. And we saw some tears from him in the booth and really means a lot to him. You know, in interviews he's been seeing and we've heard uh, the Korean cast say it before. We've heard Doan Monty say it before. I mean, you've, you've heard it left and right how Easy and keeps talking about, you know, I want to prove myself. I can do just as well. I really want to be given my chance. Well, here it is. And he got it. He made full use of starting in the grand finals, getting that 3-0 for the team. We will, of course, get to hear from the players themselves after they get some time with their trophy, hear what they have to say. Would be very interested to see what this means for Easy Hoon uh, more than anyone. Uh, obviously, of course, for Marin, it's his first time uh, getting that title also. Uh, Tom, of course, on his debut season, that's quite a feat too. But for Easy Hoon, just, you know, he's had to live kind of under Baker's shadow this whole time, but not today, not today. Okay, so we have Caster Jun joining the winners of this season. And there's Marin. Well, you know, we're so happy that we won, and I think this really just gives us our momentum. We can just continue marching forward. Uh, <laughs> Marin, of course, in set number two, when he made that escape early on, he's like, yeah, well, you know, I was smiling early game because they just came so much to the top lane and I was able to make it out once again. And, you know, I just kind of put a smile on my face. And I think I would, I think I would give myself a 90 out of 100 for my performance today. And as a captain, of the team, I'm just so thankful for my teammates. I mean, they put in so much effort, uh, so much practice to lead us to this point of picking up that trophy. And of course, we looks like we will be talking to Easy Who. Yeah, it's gonna be. Easy, and a caster just reassuring finger. Don't worry, you'll get your chance to talk too. But today, let's talk to Easy Hoon, making a name for himself. Really, finally, I mean, he's been around the scene for a long time. Those who haven't haven't been following Korea since the beginning, 
he's been around for a long time and he's been one of the sturdiest players but he's always been kind of touted as too safe too passive and especially when compared to faker uh, he kind of lived in the shadows but today he carried the team now i'm so glad because i specifically prepared by Azir for the finals and I played a huge role in our victory so I'm very glad that paid off. Well yeah during the you know playoffs uh, in that in the last match you played you didn't really seem in the top of your shape but in one week changed a lot. Well, I think a uh, big thing was I wasn't as prepared last week. You know, I've, uh, I selected Azir, but Vlad just such a strong counter against that champion. And I basically got shut down. So, but I learned a lot from that match. And of course, wrapping up the interview for himself by saying, well, you know, I think uh, well, for one, I'm very happy that we won. I think we can do very well at MSI, and I think we're on our way to prove once again that we're the best team in the world. Yeah, you know, uh, it kind of I'm much more relaxed than I normally would be just because our players performed so well, they just played uh, as we prepared. And as we um, said before the match, you know, we told our fans we're gonna return the favor for your support all this time. We're gonna get that trophy once again. I'm so glad we were able to keep that promise. And then there's Koma, the main coach, the expert for SK Telecom T1. Well, of course, we had so much prepared. We put in so much time. And, you know, we didn't even get to show all of that, especially specifically. We didn't even get to show you guys what Bengi prepared, what Faker prepared for today. Uh, so it's kind of a shame because we put in so much time and effort leading up to this point. But, of course, I'm glad we won. And at MSI, you know, I think we just really want to prove once again that you know, Koreans have consistently been at the top of esports. Uh, we really want to represent Korea well. And amongst the Koreans, of course, we want to remind everyone SK Telecom T1 is at the heart of Korean esports in League of Legends. And Tom, there he is, getting the victory on his debut season. He says, <laughs> Tom <laughs> saying, you know, well, of course it feels good when you win, but I'm really happy that I didn't ha have to hand over the keyboard to Bengi. And I, I don't mean that in a bad way. Bengi actually told me, please don't let the match come over to me. <laughs> please wrap it up. And Bengi, uh, yeah, you know, it's true. Before we started the match, I thought it'd feel really awesome just winning without having to play and seeing Tom not lose a single game. Uh, I have to admit, it's a bit of a shame that I didn't get to play. So I'm a little disappointed. So I hope I get to play next time. <laughs> And there's Wolf. Well, you know, I think, uh, you know, I got caught a couple times and I thought that was going to lead to a comeback for GEE Tigers. And I was a little un under in the blues for that, uh, because of that. But uh, my coaches and my teammates kept telling me it's okay. Of course, we still won. Uh, so I, I'm okay. You know, I feel pretty good about it. And of course, we will go to MSI showing our best to the rest of the world. And now there's Bang, first the best AD carry of Ilsan, a city in Korea where SK Telecom T1 resides. And now, of course, he can say confidently the best AD carry in Korea as the reigning champions of the champions spring season in 2015. And he does get his chance to go to Worlds and or not Worlds, MSI, excuse me, to prove that he's the best AD carry in the world. 
And he says, well, you know, it feels great to have that chance and also to have beaten such great teams here this season to come to this stage. Oh, there's Faker. Yep. Well, you know, I was cheering for my team non-stop backstage. And, you know, they played as we prepared. They played exactly as they uh, prepared. And I was just so proud of them that they were able to win, uh, you know, with such confidence and with such comfort. And, you know, uh, yeah, of course, admittedly, it doesn't, doesn't feel too great not getting to play. Uh, that is a bit of a shame. I'm very proud uh, of my teammates. I wish I could have played, though. But I hope that uh, at MSI, I'll be uh, that hidden weapon, this, you know, the best mid laner in the world. I hope I'll get my chance to prove myself at MSI once again. And I, I have to admit, you know, it feels great to win as a team, but I'm still going to let everyone know, and, and my coach specifically, yeah, I wish I, wish I would have played. <laughs> And there's Pickaboo, of course, after his injury. Hasn't had an opportunity to perform. And he says, well, yeah, it's, it's true, yeah, because of my injury, I haven't had uh, many chances to practice, let alone play, play in a match. Uh, but, you know, if I'm given a chance, I've been practicing because I've been getting better. I've been practicing as much as I can. And if I'm given a chance at MSI or, you know, any time in the near future, I will prove to all the other supports out there that I can hold my own and that I deserve to be on this team. And let's talk a little bit about MSI. I mean, Korea, not the greatest performance at IEM Katowice. And this time at MSI, there seem to be some really solid teams coming from uh, other regions. How do you feel about going forward and you know taking this victory here in the Champions Spring 2015? My coach of SK Telecom T1 says, well, first of all, thank you so much for your support and for cheering for us today during the match so that we can be the champions once again in the spring season. And we will not disappoint you at MSI. If you please just continue to support us and we will show you our best form and to the rest of the world so that we can stand proudly at the top of Global League of Legends. So those are your champions. Once again, we will be moving on to the awards ceremony now that we've heard from all the players. Uh, really quite a powerhouse. I mean, you, you, you could say that they've been in a slump and sure, they have, but really it only seemed like a slump because of how well they did before. Uh, you know, if they weren't always gonna be the best team, their performance in the middle also wasn't that disappointing. It was only disappointing in comparison. So, uh, but here they are, they've risen back up to the very top. We will begin the awards ceremony for League of Legends Champion Spring 2015. We do have the CEO of Innovation Team U, one of our sponsors, it's here for Champions Korea. We are getting the KDA awards for the season for each position. We go you can see them it's going to be smeb chaser kuro prey and uh, i believe he said wolf rescue telecom t1 there's wolf <laughs> he had to get his champion shirt on <laughs> Uh, rubbing it into his recent opponents from the G Tiger, <laughs> who also hold the KDA records right now. You know, it's interesting with uh, the fact that we can have substitute players. Uh, there we go, Kuro just still giving him a friendly hug. But with the substitute players, usually what you see is 
that we have, you know, players from the winning team that also gets the KDO award because, you know, they just had a positive game in the finals and they've been doing quite well coming to this point forward. Of course, GE Tigers have been doing very well since the very beginning of the season, so that accounts for part of it. But also, you have to kind of look at it and say, well, you know, Faker and Bengi also didn't get a chance to play in the finals. Easy Hoon and Tom kind of sharing those positive KDAs with their teammates. So we will still have three members of the GE Tigers reigning supreme in the KDA region. Uh, region and you, you really just have to look at this and also say I mean sure they lost in the finals sure maybe we've seen parts that they really need to improve upon towards the end of the season but they went undefeated in the first round of the spring season and they continue to do well enough to hold that first place spot and come to the finals directly and still finish second as a newly founded team and you saw in the interview it's kind of kind of a bunch of misfits from other teams coming together a band of misfits and went for a shot at the trophy of champion spring 2050 still 15 still an impressive record and three players taking away that kda award and last but not least it will be wolf from sk telecom t1 also want to give a quick shout out a little bit more detail about chaser from the jungle on the generic green wings i know doa and monte Cristo have talked about him a lot but uh, the fact that again they weren't even in the finals and he still holds the best kda just shows how much he's been a part of the successes that Jenner has had this season uh, how much he's affected that team in their victories and even in their defeats how much he's able to hold his own uh, really would keep an eye on him for the future uh, hope to see many more excellent jungle games from chaser on the generic green wing so big round of applause going out to our five players with the top kdas in each of their positions for champions spring 2015 and thank you once again to the representative from innovation team U. we will move on with the award ceremony of course we have some other awards before the ultimate team awards we do have the mvp award from sonagong IB. Uh, we will give a nice big prize to the top MVP point earner throughout the season. If you've been following, you'll know that after each game, one player from the winning team gets to be the MVP. They accrue points across the season, and whoever has the most points by the end does receive this award for the whole season. We have the CEO of Sonokong IB. And the MVP for the season is going to be Duke from Najin. Oh, well, he said, <laughs> yeah, Najin EM Fire. I thought he also said the uh, subtitle of the old teams, but of course, now they are just Najin EM Fire. And the greatest MVP, of course, coming from the MV, uh, the winning team is going to be Easy Who. And I, that's what happens when you get MVP points in the finals because you accrue so many points. Do it. Easy Who and Duke. So Duke getting the MVP for the regular season. Uh, I mean, he's won countless MVP awards when his team is won. And you know, this really goes to show who really is the MVP on your team because again, Najini on Fire didn't make it to the finals, but for him to accrue enough points during the regular season means that every time they won, that he's had a huge role in the victories that Najini on Fire has had. Many people looking at Duke and saying, maybe he really is the best top laner in career. Maybe he really deserves to, you know, get another chance to shine. But we'll see, maybe next season, we'll see more of him. He certainly plays a very impressive top lane. But the MVP for the entire season will be going to Easy Hoon, picking up those points in the grand finals. and. I, that also says a lot about this guy. You know, he didn't get to play every game during the regular season, and sometimes when he did, he didn't always have the best performance. But when it mattered, he pulls through in the grand finals, picks up a tremendous amount of MVP points to become the season MVP. I mean, this has been a dream for him for a long time coming. He's always been 
kind of a somewhat top tier mid laner, but never really was regarded as the best. But here he is, the final MVP. And it takes the win for his team. Gets the MVP for the finals for the playoffs. And stands aside, uh, next to Duke, the MVP of the regular season from Najin EM Fire. So congratulations to those two players. And of course, thank you to Sonic Kong IV for their support of Champions Spring 2015. And we will now move forward to the team awards. Of course, the overall standings of the season of champions. For third place, we will be inviting our director of broadcasting from CJENM. And he will be greeting the third place team. And although it's third place, what a tremendous season for these guys. CJ, ENM, really just kind of having a revival season and people thinking, wow, could they possibly make a run for the finals? Unfortunately, they didn't, but for them to even stand here, it's been a while since we've had fans being proud of CJ, ENM after their season finished. They've truly been in a slump. I mean, you look at SKT and you can say, well, they haven't been to a finals in a long time. Maybe they're in a slump and they didn't perform as well as they used to. But then there's CJ Entis. And they really came back in form this spring season. You know, they've improved on all parts, really, where they've shown their weaknesses. And space, finally, of course, people saying, finally, space living up to the fact i mean living up to the reason that he's been able to stay on this roster what did the coaches see in him when we saw that this season of course shy coming back to some form of the meta really coming back to one that shy thrives in ambition has been quite impressive in the jungle mad life towards the end of the season has returned to his prime form trying to take back the number one support spot and coco of course still flashes of brilliance in that mid lane so congratulations to cj and M on a successful season, getting to stand in the top three teams once again here in Korea. And after CJ Antis, of course, it's gonna be the second place team. Of course, we just saw them play. And although, you know, it's a shame that they didn't get to win. Still, what an impressive performance. But before we invite the teams to stage, of course, we will be inviting the executive director of Riot Korea to award the second place or to the team. And our second place, our runners up for the champion spring 2015. Having such a tremendous record, going undefeated in the first round and finishing the regular season as first place, it's going to be the GE Tigers. You know, had they won this tournament, they would have walked down the Royal Road when a team debuts and wins their first tournament. It's quite a feat. And of course, these players have all played on other teams, but to come together as a team and win as a team debut, that's one thing. I mean, for Tom, for him, it means a lot to win on his personal debut, but the team has been around as an organization for quite some time. The coaches have you know, been in the scene and you've had teammates that have been on that team together for quite some time. But here we go, these guys working together for the first time and finishing the regular season in first place and finishing second place. I, that just shows how tough it is to really go for the final win in champions here in Korea. So congratulations to them still getting second place as a team debut. And you know, you can still see uh, it's, a, it's a bittersweet ending for them. You know, it feels nice to still be getting second place, but you just lost. He's still some smiles here and there from some of the players. You know, it's a it's a tough moment, but congratulations to them. And we really hope to see them improve and show us that you know it wasn't just a fluke this season. 
that it wasn't that they were just riding the meta, that they really can continue to adapt, they can continue to improve and stay in that top tier teams of Champions Korea. And of course, last but not least, it's time to crown the champions of the spring season. The champions here in Korea of Champion Spring 2015. Let's first invite someone to come to award the, fi uh, the first place prize, of course. Who's it gonna be? Oh, we're going to have Executive Director of Spenu, the title sponsor of Champions Spring 2015. I'm very grateful for their support. I mean, Spenu has been a huge force in esports all over in Korea, but of course, they've really revamped Champions this season. The title sponsor is always putting some life into our tournament, and Spenu taking the torch this season. And finally back on this stage, finally setting another landmark for League of Legends history here in Korea. It is SK Telecom T1, your champions of the spring season in 2015. It's been some time since we got to see these t-shirts. They always have them prepared when if they are going to win a tournament and here we go all of them in their champion shirts once again in over a year since they've played in a finals let alone win a tournament but they've come back in full force they weren't the best team in the first round but the second round finishing undefeated with that full eight-man roster, all of them doing their part. I mean, really, even Pickaboo, of course, in their practice, but, you know, in the finals, we had Tom and Ezium playing the full three sets. We had them constantly swapping back and forth. I mean, people were questioning, is this really the best idea? Of course, in theory, it sounds great to have extra players to be able to swap back and forth, but is Koma maybe trying too much to make it work? But Koma knows what he's doing, everyone. Coach Koma comes to the rescue once again. And of course, his player is with a brilliant performance. Wrapping up the finals, 3-0. A sweep for SK Telecom, T1. Taking the victory, taking the cup, taking the prize, and taking really the highest reputation that a League of Legends team could possibly have. Winning champions not just once but three times they've set all sorts of records as players and teams in league of legends not just in korea but all around the world so a huge congratulations to them and another shout out to spenu and of course the executive director of spenu for their support well that is it for our spring season thank you so much to all of you who have been following Champions Korea Spring 2015 for really, you know, watching Korean League of Legends with so much joy, so much interest, and so much passion. That means a lot, uh, not just to us here at OGN, not just to the casters, Do Amati, not just to me, Chobra, but to the players, really. You know, more and more, when Champions first kicked off, a lot of the players weren't really aware that global fans had interest in their play that their play really affected more people than just outside of Korea. But here they are, I mean, the, now many of them know what it means to be the best team in Korea, that all eyes on them around the world. We heard that they will be trying to perform their best and proving that they are the best at MSI. So let's look forward to that next week. This was Chobra wrapping up the awards ceremony. Thank you so much from all of OGN, the OGN Global team, myself, and of course, Dylan and Manji Christo, our casters. And everyone, look forward to SK Telecom T1 at MSI at Tallahassee, Florida in just a week's time. You'll see these guys perform once again. Will we see Faker play or will we see Easy and will we see Tom going over? Will Pickaboo get a chance to come back to the stage? Will Faker ever get to play LeBlanc again? All these questions will be answered in Florida. See you guys next time.